Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, we're going to try to tune around uh, some medium wave, uh, some long wave, sorry, long wave uh, beacons and see what I can hear. Um, I'm in my backyard, but uh, we'll see if I, uh, what, what else can I get here on the uh, long wave band. Um, I know that the Texan PL990X is particularly good on long wave and on my tablet here I've loaded the uh, beacon list. Uh, from uh, William Hepburn so uh, we're going to be checking and comparing this if needed for the um, beacon identification and where they're located so this is UL uh, if you guys have been following me you know that UL has been is going to be decommissioned on August 12th this is the one that was here in Montreal so let's uh, let's go down and uh, let's see what we can actually get, uh, except UL, of course. Typically, beacons start at around 200, and remember that your radio's ferrite. If you use a portable, is going to be used. So by turning your radio in different directions you might actually get more signal if you hear something or if you want to try to hear something so uh, we're going to be hopefully getting some uh, beacons here some local interference here that's buzzing so that's 48. See here, I can null it out if I put it like this. It's nulling out here, it's stronger. Sixty here that I'm hearing one. Lots of interference. Yeah. Two sixty kilohertz. So two sixty kilohertz. We're getting UFX. So UFX, if you look here, I'll put it bigger, is one of the decommissioned one also. UFX, 260 kilohertz in uh, Joliet, St. Felix of Valois area. So uh, that's north, north, northeast of Montreal. So I'm hearing this one too that's going to be decommissioned. UFX. That's sad. This one too is going away. So UFX. As you noticed, I've used single sideband to enhance because there was interfer interference. So I was able to go and get that signal that was kind of difficult to receive. So UFX, this one too is going to be decommissioned, unfortunately. A lot of little mosquitoes. It's a very hot night here in Montreal. We're going to have some uh, very warm weather this week.
another one. M289. Um, This one is YLQ. In Latsuk. I'm actually getting another one. If we look here, 289. YLQ. And Latsuk. In red. This one also is going to be decommissioned. bad for long wave. This is um, a form of uh, telemetry for uh, na mar mar marine navigation. Three seventeen. Fortunately, I need to move in another spot where there's less noise. This one's a little hard to identify. Three seventeen. So I think this one is another. Is it this one? Another. Try to. There we go. This is Z M X. So this one is not going to be decommissioned, but this one is on 317 kilohertz. And this one is at Mirabel, just up north of Montreal, the uh, Montreal Mirabel Airport, just north. 17. This one is still going to be there, so I could uh, be able to use this one if I want to test radios. to uh, really identify imagine moving to a place where all that noise is not there Zero seven. If we put it in uh, AM mode. St. Hubert, well, it's St. Hubert Airport, 407 kilohertz. So this is going to be one I'll be able to use because it's not de decommissioned yet. So 407 kilohertz. And it's 
uh, let's put it back on the sideband. Oops. Oh, that's pretty much it. Now it goes back to 100 kilohertz. I was I went up to 520, or almost 520 kilohertz, a medium wave band. So that was a little tour of some of the uh, beacons on the non-directional beacons. And and imagine here it's quite noisy. So imagine if I go to a place where it's much quieter. I think that's going to be a fun thing to do uh, one night this week to turn around and check for non-directional beacons. So several of them that are being decommissioned that I heard, and of course a few of them that are going to continue on. Hope you enjoyed this scan of the long wave band, um, long wave slash medium wave, because above 300 kilohertz it's medium wave, but we call it generally the long wave band, on the Texan PL990X using internal ferrite antenna.